What's up guys, we're back again with another video and today I'm gonna be talking about a full four week calisthenics beginner routine that will take you from Monday to Sunday. Many of you guys have been asking me the specific training routine or program that I used for my transformation, but to be honest, I did not use a specific program. Basically, I used the knowledge that I possessed, the knowledge of the community I worked out with, and the people that I worked out with, and from that knowledge, I kind of made my own workout training style. With this four week routine, you're gonna learn what to work out, how to work out, and the proper rest time to take between your workouts. This four week routine is gonna be an accumulation of all the knowledge that I've learned during my transformation and that I'm currently still learning. To be fully transparent with you guys, I want you to know that this is the first time I'm making a full weekly routine for a group of people. That's why I need you guys to give me feedback on this routine. Tell me if you've gotten stronger, if you've built muscle, if the workouts were too short, if they were too hard. I need you guys to make this video a type of forum where you'll post the questions and comments you have and I'll be trying to respond to all of them and you guys can discuss what you liked about it and what you didn't. However, I'm very confident that this routine will definitely help you build muscle and get strong. And if you don't know my credentials, then not to be douchey, but... I'm currently six foot and 175 pounds. I'm telling you guys, this routine will help you. Let's start off with your first week. And the first week is gonna be an upper and lower body split. So let's begin with Monday. Monday's workout is gonna consist of one pull up, hold five seconds of the bar, and then negative five seconds. Then you're gonna do two push ups with that. Your rest is gonna be 30 seconds. Then you're gonna do two pull ups, hold five seconds, negative five seconds, and four push ups. You rest 45 seconds. Then you got three pull ups, hold five seconds, negative five seconds, six push ups, then you rest 60 seconds. Next up, you got four pull ups, hold five seconds, negative five seconds, and eight push ups. You rest 90 seconds. Then you have five pull ups, five second hold over the bar, and five second negative. Your rest is three minutes. You're going to repeat this routine three times. The next day, Tuesday, you're gonna take a rest day. Make sure you stretch and hydrate. Now it's Wednesday. We're continuing the upper body routine. So let's start off with a pullover over the straight bar. You're gonna do five straight bar dips, one pull up, and then 10 push ups. You're gonna rest 45 seconds. Next, you're gonna do four straight bar dips, two pull ups, 12 push ups, rest one minute. Continue with three straight bar dips, three pull ups, 14 push ups, rest 90 seconds. Then you're up on two straight bar dips, four pull ups, 16 push ups, rest 90 seconds. Then you have one straight bar dip, five pull ups, and 18 push ups. You're gonna rest two minutes. You're gonna repeat this routine three to five times. Now we're on Thursday, and Thursday we're gonna be doing the dreadful legs. I would suggest doing 10 squats per minute for 20 to 30 minutes. So you're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes, and for each minute, you're gonna do 10 squats. You're gonna feel a burn, trust me. Friday is gonna be another rest day. 
For Saturday, we're gonna be doing on the minute, every minute pull-ups and push-ups. So let's start off with one pull-up and five push-ups for the first minute. Then you're gonna do two pull-ups, four push-ups for the next minute. Three pull-ups, three push-ups. Four pull-ups, two push-ups. Five pull-ups, one push-up. That's five total minutes. For each minute, you're gonna be doing that specific routine. If you wanna do an extra five minutes, you're gonna do one pull-up, 10 push-ups. Two pull-ups, nine push-ups. Three pull-ups, eight push-ups. Four pull-ups, seven push-ups. Five pull-ups, six push-ups. That's gonna be a total of a 10 minute, on the minute, every minute training style. If you feel like you have energy for that whole week, Sunday, this is optional, but you're gonna do 50 pull-ups and 100 push-ups as fast as you can. You can time yourself and try to beat your time each week. Now, for the second week, we're gonna be doing the typical bodybuilder split, but it's gonna be a calisthenic split. So you're gonna be doing chest and tries, back and buys, and legs. We're not gonna be hitting shoulders because for a majority of the calisthenics chest exercises, you're gonna be feeling your shoulders a lot. So for the second week on Monday, this is gonna be a chest and try day. So you're gonna be doing one pullover, four to eight straight bar dips, 15 push-ups, and then five dips. You're gonna rest 90 seconds, that's one set. You're gonna do that set five times. Next up, you're gonna do five dips, hold five seconds, hold five seconds on top, and you're gonna rest 45 seconds. Then you're gonna go down, four dips, four second hold, four second hold, down to one. The buyout is gonna be 50 push-ups, so you can't leave the workout without doing 50 push-ups at the end. For this day, triceps are optional, but if you wanna do triceps, you can do skull crushers. Now, we're on Tuesday of week two. This day is gonna be a back and biceps day, and we're gonna start off this workout with 30 pull-ups. I want you guys to make these pull-ups very clean. You don't have to do them in a row. I just want you guys to finish this to get a feel for high repetition routines. You're going to rest as long as you want and you're now up to Australian pull-ups. We're gonna be doing 15 Australian pull-ups for five sets. No rest after. Right after the Australian pull-ups, you're gonna be doing negative pull-ups. So I want you guys to do 10 negative pull-ups as slow as possible, three times. So it's gonna be a total of 30 negative pull-ups. After you complete these negative pull-ups, you're gonna dead hang 30 seconds, five times. A big factor of increasing your pull-up strength is having a strong grip. So this dead hang at the end of the workout will most definitely help your pull-up game. Now we're on day Wednesday of week two and Wednesday is gonna be leg day. If you guys have weights to use for legs, I would suggest using them because it's very difficult and annoying to get big legs with calisthenics, but you can do it if you're very determined. So this is gonna be another on the minute, every minute leg training day. You're gonna do 10, squ 10 squats, on the minute every minute for 20 minutes. See how you feel, you can increase your time or increase the reps you do during the minute. Thursday of week two, you're gonna take a rest day. And now we're on Friday of week two. This is gonna be a chest warm up. You're gonna do 250 push ups for this entire day. You're gonna do 100 normal push ups, 100 wide push ups, and 50 diamond push ups. I want you guys to do this as fast as you can 
with as clean form as you can. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel it. Saturday, another back day, and you're gonna do 150 pull-ups for this entire day. I want you guys to use clean form, to do it as fast as you can. You can break, but make sure to finish the 150 pull-ups. Sunday, you're gonna take a rest, and now you're done with the two-week cycle of my routine. I want you guys to repeat these two weeks for four weeks. And let me know down in the comments if you've noticed the change, if you've gotten stronger, if you've gotten bigger, if your body has changed. I need you guys to let me know what I need to improve on or if this routine was perfect for you. With that being said, enjoy the routine. Don't forget to let me know. Guys, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be back again with another video this week. Peace.